I have a piece of software called Pick, and I have a bunch of people who have asked me to make a flat pack of it. It is currently distributed as a snap or via its GitHub repo. People have asked me to do flat packs, so I'm learning about it on a stream. Goodness gracious me. I'd like flat pack because it would be useful to me. Do consider flat pack. Three thumbs up. Plus one flat pack. Four thumbs up. So I have installed Flatpak itself. Just looking into this, I know nothing about Flatpak, right? There are runtimes, which are essentially dependencies. Uh, the GNOME platform runtime comes in different versions. So the current versions are 41 and 42. It looks like runtimes last about a year since the GNOME 40 runtime pitch had been released about a year ago in 2021. So I have a bunch of questions about that. Like, if I build my application now against Runtime 42, which appears to be the current version, am I going to have to rebuild it in a year just because 42 is EOL? Some people on Reddit that the answer is no. That's not all that encouraging, but whatever. You know, this is software stores for you. Don't have things that say OK and cancel. This should say, uh, this is even in the GNOME head, this should say something like save. That seems fine. I can install flat packs. Uh, that works. How do I build a flat pack? Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build a flat pack of pick, which is my color picker. So introduction to flat pack. Uh, no, 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 right, okay. I know the basic theory stuff, I believe. Building your first flat pack. Also, I don't know if anyone out there is listening, if, um, if there's any CTOs out there who care or anything, but you see how I haven't had to use sudo for any of this because I shouldn't have to. Alderfeed us the SDK. Another 500 megs. Crikey. Installing the, the Flatpak building software with Flatpak itself has a pleasing kind of roundness to it, do you not think? Do I jump straight in and try and do it for pick and blunder about and destroy things like a bull in a china shop? I think I'm going to follow the instructions. Yes, fine. Go ahead and install another half a gigabyte of stuff. Have I actually got enough disk space for I don't know why everyone likes YAML so much, but whatever, so install. Oh man, really? Target directories are always called build. Why has that happened? Right, this is not what has happened. Has it not happened because I got something wrong? So well, let's just blithely continue on. Ah, now it says installing app. Ah. Hey, come on, line completion. Well done, flat pack. Okay, so I should be able to run that, and it works. I have built and installed a flat pack. I've got no idea what I'm doing, man. <laughs> this is. I'm utterly incompetent at this. Um, What I actually want is a bunch of build commands which just install this thing that already exists. Technical conventions. There's a fucking runtime, runtime version of the runtime needed by application to be automatically installed on user systems. Yes, I understand that. Right. Ah, so I'm just going to build one, which is called. Peck. Simply applications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh, pecking, darn it. I'm going to have to... Be... No, I have to do a bunch of awful flipping setup.py stuff I don't understand. Oh, wow. Uh, OBS doesn't like it when you do that. Hey, I've got an idea, GTK people. Stop changing all the damn APIs every five minutes. Well, let's just grab this for lols and see what it does. Oh, pick color, pick it updated on XML. Cool, I've already written this. By which I mean Martin Windpress has probably already written this. Bash script for now. If it gets any more complicated than the very basics, then I will make it a Python script. It copies the run script so we can name it pick color picker. It copies pick itself. The next thing we need is all the icons and stuff. <laughs> I hate my terminal bell. I love it. It gets my attention. That's the point of a terminal bell. How long have I been doing this? Like three hours or something? That should be everything. What are the chances? First time. I think the, uh, the chances are low. But let's give it a shot. Got a shell script for this moron brain. I need that installed. Flatpak install org.gnome.sdk. Which of these do you want to use? Presumably I just need the real one. Running low on disk space, kids. Anyone wants to send me like a massive SSD? That would be fine. Can I just do that, I wonder? Yes, I can. Nice. Yes, fine. You're not wrong. Poosh. That seems encouraging. Flat pack builder dash dash user dash dash install dash dash force clean flat pack build org dot dot pick dot yaml. I'm not disagreeing with you. That's not wrong. I'd fix that. 
This thing which runs build commands, was it given to a proper shell? Doesn't seem very clear. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. Why are you renaming it? It's correct. Massive great big whiner. Yeah, did it. <laughs> I'm frightened of this. The other thing is it says it's running these, but where is it running them? Oh, I bet the app stream has its own name in it and it's wrong. Yeah, you see? It's not there. Build, 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 build. <laughs> yes. And then we go flat pack run org.cryogenics.pick. Boom! No! Is there like a debug command or something? Oh man, this isn't going to work because you're not allowed dashes. It's got to be underscores. Uh, as you got it to build and then it runs, but then it uh, blows up about debus. It's a valid application identifier. Follow the same format as debus. You can have a dash in. With dash discourage and you up, yeah, fine. <laughs> well, I know that now. <laughs> right, so I'm not really supposed to use dash. It's okay, but it's not okay as a flat pack name, which means that's going to break. The hyphen character is allowed in application, but it's not allowed in flat pack. Yeah. Because <laughs> it replaced alpha with underscores. Yeah, yeah. You'd say that now. You say this now. Didn't say that when I built peck, did you? No, you didn't. No. Bloody thing. Well, fine. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's actually running Python. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's actually running my code. Now, it's not working. Oh, this is because it tries to be clever. Right, okay. So it tries to read its own icons. So I've got to write new code there. Sweet. It should have a load of tests, and it has naught tests. And you are completely right, and I am the worst. <laughs> For which, I'm very sorry. Oh, <laughs> it works though, check it out. Grab that color. Yeah, and it grabbed it from the screen and everything. Would all the name changes work? Yes, yes they do. No real blame for that sort of thing. It would just be cool if they agreed. So I will file a bug and then they can fix it. I need a content rating. odrs.gnome.org slash ors. Oh, this is like the BBFC ratings, but for software. Uh, cartoon violence, none fantasy violence, none realistic violence, none bloodshed, none sexual violence, none desecration, none. Language. Any actual swear words? It's poopy a swear word? I think technically it's vulgar rather than profane, but whatever. Defined as the quality of being amusing. For example, this include in-app jokes. Loads! I've got loads of jokes. <laughs> it's like entirely full of jokes. Like a whole file, it's just jokes. The whole thing. So this increasing scale is not increasing funniness. It's increasing edginess. Thank you, Richard Hughes. That is very decent of you. <laughs> Poppy is a thousand percent whatever about Wayland. Um, since I am currently working on an application uh, which flat out requires X and not only does not work in Wayland, I think possibly it can't work in Wayland, I am also not bothered. Oh, if I rename the app. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Hey, snap people, here's an idea. Why not make it so I can rename my application without throwing away all of my users? Check it out. Look, provide. That doesn't seem that hard, does it? No, it doesn't. No. Why don't you do that? So depressing, yeah. No, it's like a total rage, yeah. And literally every time someone says you should do flat pack because SnapD is bad and people won't use it, I think I'm going to wait another month before I do this thing for you now because you're making it worse. You're just injecting annoyance and sadness and division into the process. And it doesn't make me go, I want to take a side. It makes me go, I just don't want to talk to any of you. And I thought maybe it might be fun. And it kind of has been. And what that took was, you know, a bit of deep thinking, kind of galaxy brain thinking about why it might happen. And then I fixed it. I'm sure Image Magic probably could have a dash dash do it properly flag added. Just give me a list of all the XML tags. Because I need to work out how to do this versioning uh, releases thing and how much I care about it. My plan is to work out how one submits this kind of thing to FlatHub and then do so. FlatHub seems to expect that you'll have some discipline around things like version numbers, which I currently don't. So I want to change this when I do a git commit. Does that even work? Which would be just really annoying and I'll just throw my computer out the window. Oh man, oh that's so complicated. I can just said that without writing it back to the file. Said dash I will modify files in place. Will it, by the Lord Harry? So that works now. Okay, good. Um, thank you. I'm very stupid.
it's going to look a bit weird when people go, it appears to have upgraded from 1.51 to 177. <laughs> right, so, app requirement. Why is this an improvement over IRC? Answer, it isn't. I don't even like IRC. The point being that 1.6 is less than 1.51. Yeah, it is. Good call. So I'm only doing this jump through your hoop, Flat Hub. So how does Git tagging work? The whole point of long options is that they are self-documenting. I beseech you in the bowels of Christ, people writing documentation, use the long options. Yeah, so I don't need to do any of this tagging stuff then because I don't actually care about version numbers. Both the tag name and the PLO should be specified. Where? Where should they be specified? And I will continue to rely on it. This is why I use Sublime Tech. Thank you for coming along this journey with me. Desktop files must pass desktop file validate, which I'm pretty sure it does. And it passes good. The create new is desktop dash application. Okay, fair enough. You're the boss. So what that will do then is that will carefully insert a release entry into there. That solves the release problem, so that should be everything. That's why I thought I'd gone mad. Please confirm your submission meets all the criteria. Yes, I read both of those. My pull request follows the instructions. It does as far as I'm aware. Okay, great. I have now submitted that to Flathub. So we're done, I think. Thank you, everyone. This has been really useful and interesting.